Hello everyone. Welcome to the Smart Point Learning Series by Travelport CNWA. So in this video, we will learn about encoding and decoding procedure in Smart Point. Now, first of all, what is encoding and decoding? Let's say you have a name of an airline and you want to know its code. So the process of converting this name into a code is called encoding. The same way you have a code of an airline and you want to know its name. So the process of converting this code into a name is called decoding. Now you'll have to remember that while performing encode or decode in smart point we will represent encode by E and decode by D. Let me write it here for you. So here we are representing encode by E and decode by D. Now the question is what things you can encode or decode in smart point. So you may encode or decode a city which is represented by C, an airline which is represented by A, a country or land which is represented by L and finally an equipment which is represented by E. Now the syntax of encode or decode starts with a dot. Okay then what you want to encode or decode? Let's say I want to encode a city's name. Okay, so city is represented by C. Now, what I would like to perform encode or decode? I would like to perform an encode. Okay, so encoding is a process of converting a name into a code. So after this, I'll write a name of a city. Let's say Abidjan. Okay. So we have just copied and pasted this command into our terminal window and I'll just write, uh, I'll just type enter. So as you can see, we have encoded the city name Abidjan and we have got the three letter code of it which is ABJ. Now the same way if you have the code okay the code is Abidjan if you have the code of the city and you want to decode so what you'll do dot C then D which represents decode and you'll write the code of the city then enter so system has given you the name and here you may see the country name as well which is Cote d'Ivoire now the same thing you can do for an airline as well for example dot a d okay et I want to decode ET to know it belongs to which airline okay so this code belongs to Ethiopian Airlines the same way if you want to encode an airline's name dot AE okay then Emirates so here system has given you the code for Emirates which is EK. Now there is a difference between these uh, this two letter uh, uh, two letter alphanumeric code 
and this three digit code okay this ek if you decode this ek you'll get the name but if you'd like to decode this 176 so for this particular three digit code you'll have to add something extra for decoding which is dot ed and a star after this star you write the airline code this three digit code and enter so here you can see this code belongs to Emirates let's try it for some uh, another airline dot ad now if I have a three digit code a star and then the code let's see 483 this code belongs to Ekodewar so without this star you can encode or decode usually an airline's name or code but if you have this three digit code so it is mandatory to use a star before writing this three digit code okay now the same way you can encode or decode a country L D and I'll write here SN so this code SN is for Senegal the same way you can encode a country's name and you'll get the code IN now finally we will encode or decode an airline equipment now to encode or decode an airline equipment will type dot then e which represents an airline equipment then another e for encode and then we'll write the name so here you may see the list of all codes which belongs to boeing aircraft okay like this 703 it belongs to Boeing 707 passenger plane okay this Boeing 707 it belongs to Boeing 707 passenger jet okay if you want to decode this code okay you'll write dot E for equipment D for decode and then you'll write the code so this particular code belongs to Boeing 707 slash 720b passenger all series okay the same way we'll perform encoding for airbus okay and if you have a code of airbus and you want to perform decode then dot ed and the code okay so basically this is how you perform encode and decode in SmartPoint. I hope this video was helpful enough to make you understand this topic. Thank you so much for watching and keep practicing what you have learned in the video.